and it's Vaya Angela Yee, and I am here with Carlos King today. I'm having a good time. I love being with you. <laughs> uh, and let's get into some Yee tea. First of all, congratulations to Ebony K. Williams. Yes! She has welcomed a baby girl, Liberty Alexandria Williams. And I pointed out law. Smart Ebony, L-A-W, <laughs> the initial, so law. Go ahead, sis. Uh, she said, Lady Liberty came to New York City in 1886. She came as a symbol of liberty and freedom two decades after the American Civil War. And she said, while mo most people associate the monument with immigrants arriving at the New York Harbor, this was a secondary narrative. The French creators behind the statue originally wanted to honor the newly emancipated and formerly enslaved Africans, black Americans. And so... There's always a deeper meaning with Ebony, let me tell you. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But congratulations to that beautiful baby girl. Beautiful, healthy baby girl. Yes. All right. Shout out to you, Ebony. All right, Diddy. They said his dreams have increased significantly um, amidst all of this news, right? You would think it would be the opposite. Right. Um, but apparently his streaming numbers have increased. And so have, by the way, also all of these old interviews that everybody's posting. They said there's about an 18% increase in on-demand streams during the week of his arrest compared to the prior week now i saw a lot of people posting clips from previous interviews that he did uh one of them was where he was saying on entertainment tonight that he would eventually get arrested for partying so much here's what that sounded like they won't even give me a permit for the parties man they don't want me to throw the parties no more but we, we ain't gonna stop we're gonna keep on having fun bringing people together from all walks of life you're gonna hear about my parties. They're gonna be shutting them down. They're gonna probably be arresting me, doing all types of crazy things just because we want to have a good time. Ah, uh, I know that didn't age well. 25 years ago, he said this. Ooh, 25 years ago, <sighs> and he's make it 25 years. That's mm -hmm. insane. And his hearing, by the way, is scheduled for October 9th at 2 p.m. And he's been placed on suicide watch while being held at Brooklyn's Metropolitan Detention Center. And I know they're trying to see if they can get him moved uh, somewhere is else. Is that a bad jail? They're all bad, but I think that this has <laughs> this has a bad reputation. Right, like Carlos, I don't know <laughs> if that's a, a good, good jail. <laughs> Send me to the good jail. <laughs> <laughs> but they've been having issues. I remember they didn't have heat at one point, and oh, really? people were freezing inside. They didn't. It's just a lot of issues there um, with how they treat people. So yes, I'm sure he wants to get moved out of there. <laughs> it's, it's not a bad job. I know. I'm like, it's not the one. I'm like, it's not like Rikers, though, right? <laughs> no, Rikers is like a holding facility, right? And so I think a lot of the issues, and they're supposed to be shutting Rikers down. The plan was for it to shut down in 2027, and they're going to build these smaller ones in each borough. But I don't look like I don't think that's going to happen in time. Okay. Now, another thing, uh, Meek Mill is on social media because people keep on tying him into these rumors with Diddy. And he said, I want to hire an investigative team, 100K cash, to find out every specific detail involving Meek Mill named to Diddy case. I also want them to look at who is powering the media involving Meek. Anything to do with Buddy. Something not right. The streets want to know what's up. Know what's up. The streets know what's up with me. That's not the case. We're talking about business size, somebody powering these bad campaigns. So he feels like people are powering a campaign to tie his name into it. And then, of course, they posted this clip. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Yeah. Then they posted a picture of them wearing matching shirts and stuff like that. But you know. yeah, I, I don't, I don't get called daddy unless I'm doing things to <laughs> someone else. Yeah, daddy. So being, <laughs> you know, daddy or zaddy. What about Big Papa? Again, when you're doing things after midnight. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I don't think I go around calling people daddy. Either. Yeah, I'm not calling anybody a dad. I don't call my own father who's living, thank you, God, daddy. I don't call my dad daddy either. Yeah, so I'm not going to call another grown-ass man daddy. Who's your daddy? <laughs> All right, when we come back, we have Under the Radar. These are the stories that are flying under the radar, but you need to know about them. If you think you block somebody on Twitter, guess again. All right, it's Way Up with Angela Yee. Way Up.